This is the Frightful Faultless from Relic 67. He's a locksmith for longs locksmithing. And he stamped the front of this. Luckily we can see the top and we see, thank God, it's only five pins. <laughs> so I have tried to pick this before uh, and failed. Let me try it again. And I feel good today because I just saw Star Wars. And you know, I feel like the Force is with me. I hope... Because with relics, locks, you need the force. Okay, it's it clamped up in there. It does work. Little catches, but I, um, it does work perfectly. That is what the key looks like. So you can see we got some challenging bidding. Thank goodness it's only five pins. Alright, I'm going to close my eyes while I do this and let the force go to work. All right, I have gotten as far as a fault set, and I have a new trick I'm going to try if I can get that fault set back, which sometimes on Relic's Lock, it's not really predictable. I'm looking for... I got nothing. They're all springy. All right, so I'm, let me recock this thing. I'm going to put Extraordinary Tension and just try to identify the first binder. We'll start like that. And it feels like the last pin. It feels like pin five. Let's see if we can get him to go. Very light tension now. All right, I felt a click in my thumb on the tension wrench. So let's see what else we got. I'd be willing to bet we're looking at some serrateds here. And very light tension. It will bind up. For another bot. Felt like pin four is now. Come on, baby. I got one click. I'm not going to overdo it. I'm going to move down the stack looking for another one. Come on. Give me that fault set. I've had it once before. If I get you again, I think I beat you. Getting no feedback off of it. Oh, there we go. Pin one right behind the tension wrench. And I heard something in the back fall. Aha! We got a good fault set. All right. I have a new tool, guys. And I've been using it in the background. This is the first chance I'm going to get to try it out on camera. This is one of Sparrow's hook kits. It's designed by the German uh, lock picking group called SS Dev. And it's actually, let me show you. I, I can only hold it up one. I don't want to lose what I got. But these are very, very thin, deep hooks for locks just like this one. If somebody has a very deep cut, uh, say a T pin, or very deep cut that's hiding behind these picks I found really reach up there. The downside is that they're so thin you really can't put like if it's a deep set it happens to be a spool you might be screwed because these picks just don't seem to take a lot of uh, tension they won't accept it. I'm looking for any kind of feedback here I think I'm gonna get a deeper hook. This is the middle one and quite Quite a deep hook, and this is one of the few locks I've actually been able to use this on. Because it'll fit in the keyway. Alright, I have I'm on pin four. I get a little tiny bit of feedback. Counter rotation, so probably a spool. Counter rotation. Aha! Thank you, SS Dev. Alright, let's see what. Relic has put inside of this one. I do have the key, so I'm going to go ahead and set it back. And this should be pretty easy. I have a tool for that. I don't have to break any C-clips or stab myself in the thumb. Okay, get the tool. How about that end? I said I had a tool, but neither end fits it. Go old school.
I guess faultless is not a standard bit. But this is just like the Schlage. There it is. Okay. I don't have to worry about any grooves. That's refreshing. And let's just go ahead and see if this is right. Yep. Okay, we got some construction holes there. No biggie. Didn't play a part. I'm looking at the pins. A couple of them are rounded, like number five and number two look like they're slightly rounded on the top. And I can see a serration on number five. One serration, standard. One serration, standard. And the last one, all serrated. Looks like homemade. Nice sharp serrations. Let me turn those around and grab this guy. Let's see what magic we got in here. Okay, we got... Looks like some, oops, some very light serrations on that thing. Uh, looks like a, oops, sorry, commercial serrated. A homemade, this is the one I think that we had to grab with that high cut. No, it's probably four. Probably four. Let's see what we got here. It's this weird looking spool. Homemade. And the last one looks like another weird looking spool slash. It's a spool. Let me look in the body here. I'm looking at the core and I noticed something odd about that. We do have a some serrations in it, some threads, and the body not. But in the core itself, we have a single one, which is number three. That's the one I had to reach up into with that, with that deep hook. So we were messing with this pin, trying to reach up there and grab him, so overcome that serration. And then probably this guy was grabbing on the threaded part of the core. And that deep hook let us get in there and pop him out. All right, anyway, there you go, Relic 67. I'm glad I finally got this one done. The Frightful Faultless finally escapes from the naughty bucket, guys. Anybody, everybody else, stay safe, stay legal. Relic 67, thanks for the lock, man.